Okay, welcome back to Off Grid Power Wall Build. So this is uh, gonna be 24 hours that this pack has been on here since I installed it. And it's worked really well. But I'm gonna pull it out and put a BMS board in it. This is the one I had in it. Um, I didn't like it. It was a 50, 50 volt BMS board, but I bought some brand new ones. Uh, these are 52, 52 volt BMS boards. So we're gonna put this in, but I'm doing this for two reasons. One is to put that BMS on it to help um, balance the pack out. And two, I wanted to see what those connections were gonna be like that I put on there for the spring loaded connections. Because uh, if they broke loose, my biggest um, thought was afterwards is if that breaks loose when I pushed it in there and when I pull it out and it flips that one side uh, the inside one if it flips that inside one up it could short it out and that could be either on both negative or positive so I'm going to put you give you a closer shot at uh, pulling that out and we're going to see how it pulls out All right, here goes, here goes nothing. Wow, that slid out of there, nice. Uh, when I put it in there, I had to really push on it, so, but that came out nice and smooth. My connections are still, still there. And I wanted to check all my soldering connection for my BMS leads so but all right let's put that BMS on there all right so uh on these BMS we have uh, B and a C the B comes back here to the batteries and the C comes down to a ground to uh for discharge I like these already a lot better. Um, this one that I had had more like of a paperback, and this has got more like of a plastic. So I already like that. It had two slots for the two extra slots up here, but uh, this is only one, which is fine. I that's what I prefer. But let me see which one is the B. Oh, this is the C. So this is going to cross over there now. Because this must be, this is the B. So this is, this one goes to the battery. And this one goes to the the frame of my, my packs. For the discharge. If, uh, to help keep these from overcharging. But we're going to put this on here like that. And this is the C, and it's going to cross over here, and the B is going to be right there. I don't like that. I have a lot of this 12 amp. I was just using for testing and that, so we're going to use it up on these BMSs. I really don't like that, but I don't have no choice. Because this one's going to go down over here on this side. And then this one's got to cross over and connect into here. Unless I run it back over to here, which I, I really don't have any room to do that. I really don't have no room to do that, so I have to bring it over here to this battery connection.
Okay, so I hot glued these these sides right here, and uh, hopefully that'll keep them keep them in tight. We're gonna find out. But what I did is I'm gonna loop this. I'll put the, pull this zip tie off this ground, and then I'll loop this back up to there, and then that way I can I can run this along this inside run this right down here hot glue it make a loop in it so there's no pressure on it and same with this one I can just come over here to the center I really don't have to go over to the side and then down let's see what happens so uh, we've got those soldered I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue this I really don't need a lot, just a nice little loop that's not causing anything to bind. And then I'm gonna solder this to this right here. And then I'll cover it up with, um, I have some liquid tape that I use. This stuff's pretty good. Just to keep something from getting hit against it and it shorten out. Then we'll put the zip tie through here. So we can zip tie these together and they'll solder better. And all I need is one. Hey guys, I think that's it. Let's unplug this. Move all this stuff over here so that I can put my camera back up in there. You guys can see what uh, what exactly is going on. A little closer than from across the room. All right, I'll stop this here and. Just like that nice so this one's going to come down here and hook into right here on this corner and I've got to run wires from here over to here to this ground and then wires from here down to this ground so yeah let's let's drill these out let's get this in here There, that should get me a connection there. Now I just got to drill all two holes here in the bottom and I'll run a ground from this ground over here to here and then a ground from here over to here.
All right, guys, there it is. Let's plug this thing in and see how she works. All right, guys, so my wife interrupted our call, or uh, interrupted our video, but uh, yeah, BMS board is in, and uh, looks pretty good. This is why I cut these back this far, because I wanted to put the BMS board on top, and I, it's just a little bit higher than what these are. But um, that's no big deal. There's nothing interfering with it or anything like that. So it uh, looks like we're in business. See if we can't get this thing to balance out. Um, turn some power on and yeah, I just disconnected the bottom one so everything's working good. No smart sparks or smoke, so. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And again, I've got uh, another uh, rack I'm going to build. So stay tuned. Hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. Take care and have a good night.